Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload your HTML email designs from Figma to the Campaign Monitor email marketing platform using the Emailify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and if you just search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on Emailify, you can run it by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access. So I've already done that, so I'm gonna to go to my canvas, I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to save plugins and click on Emailify, and that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically allows you to create HTML email designs in Figma and then export them to production ready HTML with one click. So I'm not gonna be going through all of the design features today. Uh, I'm gonna be assuming that you've already got your email uh, designed and customized. If you're new to the plugin, you can watch some of our tutorials on the YouTube channel. Just click on the Emailify playlist and you can go through those. But for today, I'm just gonna be doing a really, really simple uh, template just to show you what this is gonna look like uh, once we upload it to the Campaign Monitor platform. So I'm just gonna add a couple of components and importantly, you just have to make sure under the footer tab that you do add the Campaign Monitor footer. So this basically gives you a really easy way of adding a footer with the unsubscribe tag that's required. So this will automatically add the unsubscribe tag into your footer and that will be populated by Campaign Monitor automatically uh, once the template gets uploaded. So now that we're happy with our design, uh, we can preview it in the plugin just to see what that looks like on mobile and desktop. And I'm fairly happy with this, so I'm just gonna exit the preview and go to the export HTML button in the top here. And what we wanna do is change the HTML email option here to the campaign monitor option. So I'm just gonna scroll down under the platform integrations group and click on the campaign monitor option. And that's gonna ask us for our API key and client ID. So you can click on that link to see the documentation for that, but I'm just gonna show you now where to find those. So if you go to your campaign monitor account and log in, what you wanna do is go over to the top right corner where your name and avatar is, just click on that drop down, and then click on account settings. And then you wanna go down here to API keys. So click on API keys, and you can see here we've got our client ID. So you just copy that to your clipboard, paste that into the uh, campaign monitor uh, field. So the client ID is the second field, so paste that in there. And then you just wanna click on the show API key uh, link here. And that's gonna ask you to put in your campaign monitor password. So once you've added your password and have uh, got that approved, all you need to do is copy paste this enormous API key. So just grab the entire thing from left to right and copy that to your clipboard. And again, go back to Emailify, paste that into the first field here. So it's API key and client ID. So we'll put the API key in to the first field, paste that in. And then once that's added, all you need to do is optionally add a subject line. So you can uh, put in a subject uh, line here. And importantly, whatever you call the email in your Figma file here is gonna be the name of the template that gets uploaded. So we can call this one uh, example uh, CM template, and that's gonna automatically use that name when we upload it to Campaign Monitor now. So I'm just gonna click on the Upload to Campaign Monitor button now, and that should automatically export the HTML email from our design here, automatically upload the images, and then upload that as a template to Campaign Monitor. So you can see it's telling us that it's been successful, the Campaign Monitor templates have been uploaded, and it's just letting us know that we can find those templates again under that user icon, and then clicking on the My Templates link. So let's jump in there now, click on the uh, little user icon, go down to My Templates, and once that page loads, uh, we can see here that we've got our uh, template in our preview. So I can basically open that up, I can see that our HTML has been uploaded to Campaign Monitor as we'd expect. And finally, you can see we've got our unsubscribe link uh, down here in our footer that we just added in. So that will automatically get updated with the correct unsubscribe link whenever you send it out to a list. So yeah, you can basically use this template uh, directly in your campaigns. So you can spin up a new campaign in Campaign Monitor and that will automatically allow you to use this campaign uh, template. So if we go to our campaigns page, and click on create a campaign. We can just do my first campaign for now. And this will load up the uh, campaign 
uh, options. So we can click on design email. We can say use a template. And then you can see here in our templates, we've got that added uh, in here. So we can just click on that and that will automatically allow us to use it in our campaign. And that's gonna allow you to uh, see the preview here and preview it. So you can preview what that looks like. Then click on save and next. And now that's basically added it to our campaign. So then it's just a matter of adding your uh, from and to and all that sort of detail, uh, which you're probably already aware of if you're using Campaign Monitor. So I won't be going through all of that, uh, but this is how you can apply your campaign template into the campaign itself uh, in one click once you've already uploaded it from Figma. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to automatically upload your HTML templates from Figma into Campaign Monitor, this should hopefully help uh, speed up that process instead of doing it manually and uh, adding all of the uh, intricacies that come along with uh, manually uploading the images and the unsubscribe uh, tag and all that sort of stuff. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.